high-speed train, designed to achieve incredible speeds of up to 1,000 km per hour within a low vacuum tube. If this groundbreaking project proves successful, it will revolutionize on-ground transportation, becoming the fastest means of travel. Known as the T-Flight, this futuristic train holds the promise of transporting both passengers and cargo between major cities in China. Prior to this, the team had already achieved a notable speed of 623 km per hour under regular conditions, but the latest test marks a significant milestone in their pursuit of ultra-fast travel technology. Construction of the Zhonghuan Industrial Park commenced in 2009, involving a total investment of approximately $6.4 billion. Over the years, it has played host to 16 renowned companies from the semiconductor and photovoltaic sectors, nurturing their growth and fostering innovation. Presently, the park accommodates 10 high-tech enterprises, among which is a national tech innovation demonstration company, and another one listed on the main board. The park's success in attracting and supporting such prominent industry players underscores its significance as a thriving hub for cutting-edge technologies and advancements in the semiconductor and photovoltaic domains. At one time, the notion of robots seamlessly blending into our daily lives seemed like a concept confined to science fiction. However, with the rapid growth of artificial intelligence AI, development, China's service robot industry is flourishing, thanks to remarkable advancements in innovation by Chinese companies. The once distant dream of integrating robots into our everyday routines is becoming a reality, and the industry's progress is a testament to the significant strides made in AI technology within China. As these intelligent machines continue to evolve and find practical applications, they are reshaping how we interact with technology and opening up new possibilities for the future. China's city of Hefei is currently hosting the World Voice Expo, showcasing the latest advancements in various fields, including smart city and smart education technologies. The event serves as a platform for exhibiting cutting-edge innovations, offering insights into the latest trends and breakthroughs in these crucial sectors. Attendees have the opportunity to explore the most up-to-date developments in voice-related technologies and their applications, fostering collaboration and knowledge sharing among industry experts and enthusiasts. In East China's Fujian province, a groundbreaking achievement took place with the successful installation of the world's first 16-megawatt offshore wind turbine. The final blade has been securely attached to the hub, and the process of tightening the bolts is currently in progress. Positioned about 35 kilometers away from the shoreline, this remarkable wind turbine holds the record for the highest per unit capacity worldwide. When operating at full wind speed, it can generate an impressive 34.2 kilowatt hours of power after completing a full rotation. Its annual power output, estimated to exceed 66 million kilowatt-hours, is sufficient to meet the energy needs of 36,000 families of three. The China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation has made an official announcement that China is commencing the construction of its first-ever constellation of very low-Earth orbit satellites. This significant disclosure was unveiled during the 9th China International Commercial Aerospace Forum, hosted in Wuhan City, 
situated in central China's Hubei province. The term very low Earth orbit refers to an altitude ranging from 150 to 300 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Notably, satellites operating in this orbit require less research, boast lower development costs, and demonstrate enhanced efficiency in information acquisition and transmission. At the China International Big Data Industry Expo 2023 held in Giyang City, located in southwest China's Guizhou province, a driverless vehicle with an expansive interior and easy-to-use features has drawn significant attention from attendees. The autonomous car has captured the interest of visitors due to its roomy cabin, which offers ample space for passengers, and its user-friendly trim, which simplifies the driving experience. China's domestically developed AG600, a sizable amphibious aircraft, has successfully completed verification test flights for firefighting operations, demonstrating its capability to carry out crucial firefighting tasks. With the codename Kunlong, the AG-600 holds significant importance in China's emergency rescue system. Over the past few years, the aircraft has undergone rigorous verification tests, encompassing aspects such as aircraft safety, the effectiveness of its fire suppression functions, performance in various mission scenarios, flight support capabilities, and emergency response capabilities. In northwest China's Shangxi province, the construction of a test stand for the largest thrust liquid propellant rocket engines in Asia has been successfully completed. On the same day as its completion, the first trial run of the rocket engines was carried out, and it achieved resounding success. This significant milestone represents a major advancement in rocket propulsion technology in the region. South China's Guangdong province witnessed the inaugural flight of the world's first manned electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, designed in the shape of a UFO, in Shenzhen City. This groundbreaking event marks a significant advancement in aviation technology, showcasing the successful realization of an aircraft capable of vertical takeoff and landing, powered by electricity, and featuring a unique and innovative design reminiscent of a UFO. That's the end of our story for today. I hope you found this to be interesting. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video.